When it comes to General Hospital, every fan has their own opinion, and so Pub is no different. For five days, we sat and watched the good, the bad, and everything in between, and now we offer you a handy review, and a cheeky critique, of the GH week that was, General Hospital, a critics week in review of the four very different Thanksgivings presented on General Hospital, the one had by the extended Cassidine family was clearly the most entertaining. From the unwelcome guest, that would as May Prince, Avery Kristen Pohl, whose number Alexis Davis, Nancy Lee Gran, has, to the uninvited menagerie that made their way in, one after the other, and from, the hilarious looks exchanged to Alexis's singers, what in fresh hail. Who is it now, Satan? You and Helena? You. Dash it was all that any fan of good old-fashioned family comedy drama could want. And what could be better than the rebuilding of the Cassidines? Almost nothing, except Alexis should really shut down Victor Cassidines, Charles Shaughnessy, whole, I'm the patriarch of this family, nonsense and remind him that she's been operating as the family's de facto matriarch for quite some time now, and despite the occasional slip-up, arrest and or prison sentence, she's been doing, a very fine job, thank you very much, sir. The happenings at Shaky ranged from the petty, Valentine Cassidine, James Patrick Stewart, purposefully presenting the turkey to Annabelle II, to the tender, Monica Quartermains, Leslie Charlson, reunion with Drew Kane, Cameron Matheson, the family's toast to the dearly departed Jason Morgan, Steve Burton. We're truly thankful for every bit of it, but we sure did miss the family's annual sing-song. And now on to the other General Hospital celebrations. Portia Robinson, Brooke Kerr, hosted several guests at Curtis Ashford's, Donald Turner, Club, but all that served to do was make many fans wonder things like, why Elizabeth Weber, Rebecca Herbst, wasn't spending the day with even one of her many children, or Grandma Audrey for that matter, and, why was TJ Ashford, Taj Bello, at the event solo, do he and life partner Molly Davis Lansing, Haley Puss, spend any time together? Also, why didn't Sonny Corinthus, Maurice Bennard, extend an invitation to Phyllis Caulfield, Joyce Guy? By the looks of things, he made enough food to feed an entire army, and, apparently, it was only for him, Carly Corinthus, Laura Wright, and Jocelyn Jacks, Eden McCoy, and what to say about Sam McCall, Kelly Monaco, and Dante Falconaris, Dominic Zampragna, first turkey day together, other than it sure was memorable. First, they learn that Drew is alive and well, then they get the terrible news about Jason, which apparently made Sam hot to trot, considering that minutes later she and Dante were hitting the sheets covering the bed that Sam used to share with the guy whom she learned was dead. Further GH musings Dear Carly, if you're so worried about what your life without Jason will be like, why not try casting your mind back to any time between 2013 and 2016, you know, the years Jason was believed to have been dead, the first time. Is there anybody else out there who'd watch the heck out of a reality show featuring Alexis and Sam as mother slash daughter P.I.S.? What if Diane Miller, Carolyn Hennessy, was added to the cast as the firm's legal advisor? Kudos to General Hospital writers for remembering the time Scott Baldwin, Ken Schreiner, spent as Jason's guardian. And speaking of Scott, his reunion with Lisa Lobricht, Kathleen Gutty, was an absolute hoot, even if the sight of it did leave Austin Gatlin Holt, Roger Howarth, a mental scar. General Hospital saved itself a tongue lashing from yours truly by announcing the imminent return of powerhouse actress Lexi Ainsworth. I was prepared to blast them for her absence at Alexis's holiday dinner from hell and ponder whether it would take weeks or months for poor Christina to learn that the man who rescued her from a cult had perished. GH hasn't always done right by Miss Ainsworth, here's hoping that's about to change. What happened to the scars that once covered Dandy's back? Did he have them surgically removed like Maxie Jones's, Kirsten Storm's, heart transplant scar? Who, or what is Victor attempting to warn his family about? Are we finally about to meet the actual Valentine, you know, the one that had Helena Cassidy shaking in her stilettos rather than the piano playing, growler who wind up coming to town sporting the same name? Why oh why can't Rob and Scorpio Drake have anything that isn't co-opted or corrupted by Carly? 
First, it was the out-of-nowhere idea that nobody but Carly ever truly meant anything to Jason, negating that beautiful, tender Jason-slash-Robin romance. And now, the bridge that was once sacred to Jarop has become something that Carly has staked a claim to. General Hospital, GH, airs weekdays on ABC. Check your local listings for airtimes. For more about what's coming up in Port Charles, check out all the latest that's been posted on GH Spoilers. And for an in-depth look at the show's history, click here. Adblock Test.